Um. All right, welcome to the Danimal Kingdom. So today I'm gonna to be talking about how I passed the AWS machine learning specialty in only three weeks. So this is my kingdom and I will be hosting how to become a robot. So <laughs> the machine learning uh, exam for AWS was different from any other like AWS exam because I didn't, because it actually taught like, I mean, it didn't teach me, but like it required me to know about machine learning kind of in detail. And I, I don't, I didn't know anything about machine learning similar to like all the other exams I've taken. I didn't know anything about like big data or I didn't know anything about machine learning. So I went from zero machine learning to a robot mastermind, AI genius, deep learning gu guru. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm gonna talk about how I uh, did that in only three weeks. So I mean, I, I guess I probably could have done it quicker if I, I guess, put more time in and just quit my job, you know? I do have a day job. <laughs> but um, yeah, so it kind of helped that I did take the big data uh, specialty exam three weeks ago to this day, <laughs> but um, you don't necessarily need to do that. I feel like that probably would have helped a lot because a lot of machine learning, like at least 50% of it is getting the data for the models that you want to train. Because if you don't have data, what are you going to train? You can't train an elephant <laughs> without like a big leash or something. I, I don't know how to train an elephant, but, <laughs> but so, yeah, I started with the big data. I mean, I took all the associates before as well, or all the AWS associate exams as well. Uh, those would probably be helpful, like solutions architect, associate, or the developer associate. I would take those maybe first if you're not gonna go for big data associate. Um, but it, you don't really need to take any of them. There's no requirements for the machine learning um, certification. But I feel like it was harder than the big data specialty exam. And that, that's saying a lot, because that one took me um, four weeks to study for. I, I have a video on that one. I'll, I'll post in the description or something like that. But yeah, I feel like it was harder, even though I took less time to study for it. But maybe it was harder personally for me, because I studied less for it. But I don't know, it's hard to say. So yeah, I took big data first. And then, I started with the typical thing I do for these kind of exams, these AWS exams. I go through all the like the video content for them that like is public and not public, like Cloud Guru. And then there's also the reInvent sessions uh, that have a lot of information on all these machine learning services. So there's SageMaker. There's like AWS Recognition, um, like which will show like. Uh, recognition can do, um, there was some questions on that in the exam. It can help, it can basically like you get videos and you can help like see the intent of uh, those videos. I, I don't even remember. <laughs> I don't even know how I passed this <laughs> exam. <laughs> no, I mean, I know how I passed. I studied a lot, but it's, it was definitely pretty hard. Like there was a lot of deep learning information. So like Cloud Guru wouldn't have any information or didn't have much information on the deep learning topics. And um, a lot of it as well was statistics. I felt like I needed to have like a whole degree in statistics just to pass this exam. <laughs> I mean, I, I came from a physics degree, so it kind of did help a little bit, but I, most of my, like, my statistics I was remembering was from like AP statistic, statistics back in high school. So that was like, I don't know, how many years ago was that for me? I graduated in 2013, so that, that was six years ago, huh? But I took AP Statistics. So yeah, <laughs> that, statistics really did help a lot because if you need you need to know like all the graphs, like pie charts, scatter plots, bubble charts, all the charts, you need to chart everything. You need to, you need to know how like all the statistics add up to, uh, I guess, give you the best model so you can like analyze your data. So I guess this, uh, certification, if you want to go for it, is for more like if you want to be a data scientist, maybe. I'm currently like a software engineer, so I, I don't know if I want to go into this for sure, but it is was definitely, <gasps> excuse me, it was definitely very interesting. 
having a lot of gas. I, I just came from the exam, so I'm I'm just glad I, it's glad I finished it. So yeah, after I um I took the Claude Guru exam, I, t I took it twice. First at 1.5 times speed, and then at 1.75 times speed. Um, so I did that maybe in the first week or two. And then after that, I read a bunch of the FAQs. Uh, I look at the documentation. So if there's one service you need to know for this course, or this, not course, this exam, you need to know the SageMaker course, ex SageMaker service. It's not really a course, unless you want it to be. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, you need to know SageMaker, so um, I'll post the link to the SageMaker documentation. If you like memorize that, like you probably can pass the exam. Like a few days before this last week, I've been reading a lot of the SageMaker notes. I mean, not notes, but um, documentation. So all, in the SageMaker documentation, they have all the algorithms that it supports, which is at least 10, I think it's 15 or so different algorithms and a lot of those were tested and then there's also algor algorithms that weren't even tested i mean that were tested but weren't on those in that algorithm list because it's general machine learning algorithms that it also tests for so yeah i i would recommend studying the eight uh SageMaker. so this last week you can, the last week you can probably read it through and get all this absorb the sages <laughs> and then the last week I also um, went through the the cloud group uh, practice test I took like them three times I did horrible on them <laughs> like my first one I think I, I was doing like super late at night I was barely awake and I only got like 40% and then like the highest I got was like 70 something percent and then that was like, I took it three times. So the third time I basically memorized all the answers <laughs> and still only got like 70 or something like that. So yeah, maybe it was 60. But um, then after that, I took the Linux, Linux Academy course. That one was, I feel like a lot better than Cloud Guru because it went into more detail on different topics and kind of more in, in depth on the machine learning. Maybe a lot of that was not needed, but it definitely feel, I feel like it helped a lot. I don't know if that was because I took it last or because it went into more depth. But yeah, I, I only watched that one um, wholly, like fully once. And then I took the practice exam at the end, got like a 76%. I was confident enough with that 76% to take the real one. So you need a 75% to pass. I don't I don't know what I got in the real one yet. I didn't check, but I passed. So, I mean, it said at the end I passed. So I don't know. It's probably like at least has to be above 75. So yeah. Um, how do I think I got on it? Probably like 80 or something like that. I don't think I did that great. There was a lot of questions I didn't even know. Like, I don't know what dropout is. Like that was a word and like, art is this where you drop out of college? <laughs> I, I don't even know what dropout. I think dropout, how it relates to machine learning. But yeah, there's study your dropouts. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like uh, it was pretty hard. I'm going to go for the advanced networking next, though, because that one is probably the last specialty exam I have to take until the I'm going to go for the professionals, because I don't think I'm going to go for the Alexa course. I mean, Alexa, not course. I, why do I keep saying these are courses? They're not courses. But I don't think I'm gonna go for the Alexa um, certification because it kind of seems lame. I'll wait for Alexa to get a little bit more popular before I take that one. But yeah, after networking, I'm gonna go for the two professionals and then and then what? I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna do after. Maybe I go to like, uh, <laughs> I take the Google certifications and go for the Microsoft certifications. Then I make my own certification. Who the hell do you think I am? I'll just take them all. But, uh, all right. Uh, thanks for watching. All right. One more, one more thing I forgot to say. So during the exam, there's some weird questions that asked for, like, they gave me a graph and they would say, what kind of algorithm would best, I guess, give like the highest accuracy or highest precision for this, this graph. And I'm like, I don't even know what that means. And uh, so yeah, I guess if I were you, I would 
and I wanted to take this exam again, I would probably study like different time types, different types of graphs, and what kind of algorithm would help, I guess, give the best result for that graph. So, so like you need to know the difference between like what precision is, what recall is, what like all those different terms mean in relating to graphs and different algorithms, because that kind of messed through me through a loop. <laughs> all right, thanks.